mother Tell your children not to walk my way Tell your children not to hear my words What they mean, what they say Hello all and welcome to another vid tonight For those of you that um, are seeing this vid before you saw the other vid The uh, other vid I did today was a review of Hard Justice Please go check that out as, um, yeah, hopefully um, you guys will check that out like that. Um, this is a video that's kind of been a while coming. Uh, this is a response to PS Power's video, which uh, he talked about me and my enabling or my um, coming up with excuses for the WWE. Um, or damage control, I believe is how he put it. For the WWE in his video, um, this is he's done a video since then. But I was asked by someone else who I will not name not not to make a video response to this for a while. But I thought uh, now since that person has put up a video response, I would put up a response now. <coughs> okay. In this video, he basically went on a little tirade on the fact that I continually defend the WWE. Here's the problem: is he doesn't realize I'm not defending the WWE. I'm simply stating the facts or the quote unquote facts that you PS Powers and others love to throw out there that are wrong and that's my problem <coughs> the scene of vids were about this the scene of vids were about the fact that you and numerous others come on here and say Cena is the problem those vids were to show that Cena is not the problem the problem is the creative staff um, the problem is Triple H and the fact that he's not legitimately you know made anybody in over six years um, and the and things of that nature that's the problems within the WWE and trust me I don't like talking about the WWE when I first came on here I thought I could just come on here and talk about Ring of Honor because that's what I want to talk about and I didn't have to explain things like this to people I came on here and I don't mean to take anybody off I don't mean to step on anybody's show toes the people didn't know what the hell I was talking about. I had to start explaining things. I started having to educate people about things I thought they already should know. The fact that I've had to explain people the way that Triple H works backstage. The fact that I had to come on here and explain to people that, yes, while the buy rates are down, why the or how ratings are down, and I had to explain to people that you can't look at one year from another. You've got to look at like three years, you got to compare all three years. It's something you don't do when you talk about ratings or buy rates or anything like that. You continually want to talk about the Attitude Era and its greatness, but you and how you know. Look at how great it was. Look at all the stars it made. Look how much money it was bringing in, and you fail to bring in the biggest component of that era and why it was so successful. And that is, you have Raw and one show called Nitro. It was the Monday Night Wars. Those that. That, the Monday Night War, was the biggest draw of that time period. Bar none, end of story. The WWE right now is still drawing better numbers house show-wise and attendance-wise than they were during the Attitude Era. Okay, that's where I have a problem. I have a problem when people come in here and say, look, the WWE's on a downswing. Look, the WWE is, you know, it's, it's worse than it's ever been when that's not true. Is it great to watch? No, it hasn't been. But I'll sit here and tell you, you said you were a WWE fan from the Attitude Era. Okay, I haven't been a quote-unquote WWE fan since probably 94. I, I wasn't even a fan during the Attitude Era because, even though I liked some of the things they were doing and I ordered some of the pay-per-views and I thought they were putting on some good stuff, I was much more of an ECW fan. I loved ECW. ECW was everything I always wanted a wrestling promotion to be, and from ECW, I got into All Japan, which I have never seen a promotion go on the tirade they went through through the 90s ever. It was Japanese. I didn't understand it. I didn't know the storylines. It didn't have to. There was great matches after great matches after great matches. There were great shows after great shows after great shows. That's what kind of fan I am. And that's why I came on here to talk about Ring of Honor, to try to, you know, pimp Ring of Honor a little bit. And I have. And I've been successful in doing that. You want to know why I'm on here. You want to know where I'm coming from. That's where I'm coming from. I'm coming from the aspect of I want to help out Ring of Honor. However, I came on here right around WrestleMania, <clears throat> and I love the fact that you put up this vid after I got hacked and after all my other vids got taken down. Um, I pretty much stay. Here's the thing: I came on during that time period from let's go from the start of the year to backlash. During that time period, I will sit here and say, and this is a Ring of Honor fan saying this, I will sit here and tell you 
I think the WWE at that point was putting on the best product of any promotion in the world at that point. Okay. Now, since then, they've had injuries and all these other problems, which and w, and Ring of Honor got off its ass and actually started putting on good shows again, like the Liverpool shows, like the WrestleMania weekend shows, like Respect is Earned, and numerous other shows that I have yet to see, so I can't really comment on, but I've heard that they are excellent and, in my opinion, have overtaken the WWE again, particularly with storylines like the Lacey and Jimmy Jacobs storyline and, of course, the 161 storyline, which it looks like it's going to be their big storyline for the year. That's the things I want to talk about. But because um, the, the videos I make that get the most views are either involved Bill and Doug, the WWE, I end up talking about them far more than I would like to. Okay? I started talking about Bill and Doug because, just so people know, because Moral Virus's computer decided to be stupid. And if Moral was allowed to come on here and basically say the same things I was during that time period, I wouldn't have made all the videos to Bill and Doug. But no one else was saying them. And the fact of the matter is that Bill and Doug and PS Powers and numerous others came on here and said things that just weren't true and skewed the facts and were like, look, look how great TNA is when TNA was not good. And TNA does need to be held to a higher standard because the only way TNA is going to get better, the only way they're going to get to that point where they can compete with WWE is if we hold them to that higher standard. Is that fair? No. But you know what? Life is not fair. And for TNA to succeed, they have to be held to that higher standard, just as I hold Ring of Honor to a much higher standard than I do WWE. Just the way it is. You know, I hold Noah to a much bigger standard than I hold WWE. I hold a lot of promotions to a much bigger standard than I do WWE. WWE is number one promotion. I mean, that's just it. They're the number one promotion in the world. And by the way, to every person that continually comes on here and says that TNA is the number two promotion in the world, you are so wrong, it's not even funny. There may be the number five or six promotion in the world. There is more wrestling out there than TNA and WWE. Okay? And you people need to start learning this. This utterly aggravates me to no end when I see that posted. Okay? So, let's continue to go here. Um... So you say that I continually, you know, make excuses for the WWE. I'm not making excuses. I'm simply bringing up facts. If you feel like I'm making excuses, I'm sorry, and I will more than happy to give you links and show you where I get my numbers from. Okay? You know, and also, did I not come, have I not come on here and I have not, you know, bitched about the WWE and bitched about the draft? I came on here and bitched about the draft and said I thought the draft was a joke and then turned around and said what I would have done. I came on here and said that I thought Stephanie McMahon and her writers were turning Raw into a joke and that Raw has not been very good and that Impact is better than Raw, but that's all it's better than. I've come on here and I have said, okay, numerous, numerous, I came on here and did a whole video about the fact that I think Vince McMahon is listening to the wrong people. No one else on here has said that. No one else has come on here and talked about Stephanie McMahon. No one else has come on here and talked about the backstage politics that were going on in the WWE. No one has done that except me. Okay, I'm the only one that comes on here and talks about this stuff. Why? Because I think it's important. If you think that's coming up with excuses for the WWE and, you know, not blaming John Cena as the Antichrist of pro wrestling, I'm sorry, but he's not the Antichrist of pro wrestling. He's just not. Okay, as much as you want to pretend he is, he's not. It's, it's the creative staff and Stephanie McMahon and everything else that is wrong with the WWE. It is not John Cena. John Cena is a symbol of what's wrong with the WWE, but he is not what's wrong with the WWE. Okay? And more people need to learn that. People also, also, need to expand their knowledge on pro wrestling. And I'm sorry that if, you know, you don't want to do that. And I have news for everybody. I have news for Bill and Doug. I have news for you. I have news for every other TNA fan out there. I'm about to get a whole lot harder on TNA because after Hard Justice, after that crap that they put on, trust me, trust me. And after, after I believe I have come on here, I have said this time and time again that I believe Samoa Joe is the best wrestler in the world right now, all around. Okay, they just buried him on a pay per view. You can sit there saying, well, they didn't really bury him. Yes, they buried him on a pay per view. So guess what? It's time for him to go. It is time for him to say, TNA, thank you, but no, and go home where he belongs. Because trust me, Ring of Honor is what I want. Ring of Honor is who I want to compete with the WWE because trust me, they would be far better and far, far better at competing with the WWE than this crap that TNA is giving us. Thank you.
this ride.